Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body to be down here on this Thursday afternoon. Um, as the thumbnail suggests, and probably the title of the video, uh, you can tell we're going to talk about a couple things today. Uh, I've this is the second time I've tried to do this. Technically, the third time. I tried yesterday, and I edited it out of the video, and then I just sh shot about 10 minutes and said, no, nah, I better not do that. Let me redo. <coughs> so, sometimes when I when I start talking about these topics here, I get uh, too deep into things, and I don't mind opening up and telling my story about some stuff that's happened and, and all that. I don't mind, but at the same time, I don't need to be too open about stuff. You know, I need to keep a little bit uh, inside. Because I don't want to come off as disrespectful or, you know, anything to certain people. So, anyway, uh, so first of all, today I'm giving myself off from working out and tomorrow. Uh, technically, I'm only missing my second leg day and my second chest day. Everything's been done. So, I'm giving myself some time off. I just feel drugged down and beat down, uh, not just because I got this nagging cough the past few days, but also no sleep, and uh, been dealing with anxiety and depression uh, a lot over the past oh, many, many years, but really, uh, it seems to have upped its game since we moved. And uh, without going into a lot of crazy details where I got to stop this video and make a new one, <laughs> uh, just know that our marriage is not perfect. We've been through everything that a marriage should not go through. And uh, it was not on my account. It wasn't me. So I will say that. Uh, so let's just... Let's just say that I've dealt with a lot and I've put up with a lot and there's a lot on my shoulders to keep myself going and together uh, mentally. And uh, that's what this channel is about. It's not just about working out and food and stuff like that. It's about the mental struggles that we all go through. And uh, I've mentioned that before that this channel is for that. You need a place to open up sometimes. Even if you, even if you have family and friends that'll listen to you, sometimes it's it's easier and uh, better maybe to just throw it out there online to maybe people that you've hooked up with online that you chit chat with or random strangers. Just you know, you never know what what you'll get. And they might can help you in the comments, and you might can help them. So. Yes, my depression and my, and my anxiety have been skyrocketed here for quite a while. And uh, my anxiety, and I guess it's more, this part's more my anxiety, I believe. It's just constant go, 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 go in my brain. And I go to lay down and I'm just sweating and my brain won't stop. And, and uh, just a lot of stuff I'm thinking about that I'd rather not think about. <coughs> so, uh, it's not easy, guys. Life is not easy. I don't see no reason why it shouldn't be, but uh, it's not. Life is not easy. And, uh, some of us go through a lot of stuff. And, uh, a, a lot of people won't even be able to understand because they haven't been through it yet and maybe they never will I don't know but life is not easy uh, so anyway I I just feel really drugged down and tired and uh, I didn't even eat my first meal until lunch today I did my bus route of course I didn't sleep or the crap I was up all night and uh, I finally passed out and got maybe an hour sleep or so before I woke up and 
and do it. So I came home from my morning bus route and I managed to have enough energy to spin on my bike for 30 minutes like I do every day and then I just went to lay down. So yeah, you just sometimes just you got to give yourself a break and uh, I feel like I'm at that point. Uh, there's also that underlying thought of well I just want to be lazy but I work out five days a week religiously non-stop every week every month if I don't feel good if I'm tired if I've had no sleep if I'm grouchy depressed if whatever no matter what I work out five days a week so I'm as dedicated and devoted as a person can probably be. Um, so, giving myself off a couple of extra days, I think, is needed at this time. The last time I took some time off was in October, whenever we moved. And uh, actually, the very the day before we moved, I still worked out and still did my walk that I used to do every single day. I still did that. And then once we moved, well, I was busy moving and building this room and all that. And I think I took off 16, 17, or 18 days. I don't remember. And uh, that's the first time I've missed in years, a couple of years at that point. I don't know. I don't really miss. So it's hard to tell. So I've not missed since then, since October. And uh, even then, whenever I wasn't working out, I was still moving and doing stuff in the house and uh, building this room and everything. So, you know, it's not like I was just laying around. So anyway, uh, the video, this video is really, I want it to go deeper than, than what I'm going. That's what she said. And, uh, but I won't. Uh, I think you know where I'm coming from when I say that I've been a good, loyal, faithful husband. And uh, sometimes in marriages, some people aren't. And sometimes uh, those of us that promised, you know, in our vows to, <coughs> you know, for better or worse, Rich or poor, and our, our preacher said in sickness and in death, instead of sickness and in health, he, he said sickness and in death. So, you know, I, I don't look at the vows as anything biblical or religious because I'm not uh, religious, but it's kind of, it's what you go through when you got it, when you get married, I reckon. So I, t I take it seriously. And, uh, so, anyway, uh, I go through a lot every day, waking up and going to bed with a lot of thoughts. <coughs> a lot of, a lot of visions. Visualizing is horrible. The things that you visualize, not pleasant. And, uh, so, you know, it's on top of that, plus work, dealing with kids every day on that bus. Morning bus is fine. Afternoon bus drives you nuts. So that's stressful. And then my oldest kid, you know, if you know anything, if you keep up with the channel, you know he's got bad diabetes and he'll be lucky to make it to 35. He just turned 30 a couple days ago. So I deal with that. My wife has epilepsy and whatever else. I don't even know what else at this point. But so it's it's painful to see where you were when you were younger, uh, before life really hit you uh, upside the head. It's really 
it's painful to see. You know, you guys, you know, you only get a glimpse. Of, you know, you only get a glimpse of me on these videos. And really what you see before you is not the Michael that I used to be. Now, when you see me cutting up and stuff, yeah, I've always cut up and acted a fool. Danced and goofed off and all that stuff. But these days, I kind of got to make myself do that. Smiling, cutting up. Uh, a lot of that's gone. A lot of that joy is gone in life. And it's hard to get that back. And it's not just a matter of, well, make the change. Just stop, you know, stop doing this and stop overthinking and do this. And do it. It's not really that easy. So, but there was a time before life really kicked me in the head that... I was the craziest, funniest, goofiest, slapstick comedy fool you'd ever met. You know, I've I've made people pee their pants because uh, you know just how I was. I was crazy, and uh, you see yourself all these years later, and you see that you're just a you're not even a shadow. Of your former self. I don't even know what you would be. I don't even know what to call it. But it's. Definitely not what you were. So. Anywho. <coughs> so all that. All these things. They intertwine. Into the. Depression. And the anxiety. And the no sleep. And all these different things, you know, and they all work together. And it's just a big storm. And any time that I've talked about depression, I've said, you know, uh, you don't always pull through. You don't always make it another day because uh, depression and anxiety and stuff like that can really bring you down to the point where you might do something crazy. So uh, anytime you see another day. You should be happy you made it that far. And I am. I'm happy I made it that far. And then there's a lot of days where I wish I wouldn't have made it that far. So. Uh, and, and and to think that. And to, to, and to hear yourself say that is horrible. Because the Michael of many, many years ago would have never thought that in a million years. But then, like I said, life kicks you in the head. And, well, you're a totally different person at that time. And, uh, <coughs> so, having said that, uh, also, uh, just to kind of touch on something, but the person that you see in the videos is me. I'm a genuine person. Uh, I care about people that care. I can't say that I care about everyone in this world because uh, what I see online, what I read, what I see in videos, everything that I that I that I'm you know kind of taking part in and I can see and read and hear, uh, people have straight up lost their minds. And, uh, so I really don't like people anymore, and that again is something that uh, that I never even thought of years ago. Uh, I've always I was always a people person, and you know, friendly and funny with people, and talked to random people just in the store, and just you know, uh, a totally different person. And now it's like I could be. You know, I don't, I don't even like to be around family. Uh, I don't have any friends anymore. Uh, it's just a, a whole different world. And it's sad. And, uh, but I try not to show that on my videos. But just know that there are many, many days pretty much 
every day where I'm this way in the videos and you, you don't really know it. Even if you see me drumming or maybe showcasing some of my action figures up here or something or uh, th there's a lot of stuff that's underlying and dragging me down so uh, and I know a lot I know a lot of you out there are probably suffering the same stuff and uh, I'm sorry for that but well Anyway, I guess without really getting too much deeper into things, uh, that's really about all I can say. And uh, just know that uh, I am struggling with a lot of stuff on my mind that's not pleasant. And uh, trying to stay focused to reach all these goals that you've seen me reach. And going day after day after day, ignoring everything. I ain't got time for this. I got to work out. Got to go, go, go. Got to get my work out. You know. It takes a lot of, takes a lot of dedication, a lot of stubbornness, a lot of uh, selfishness sometimes. And keeping to yourself and worrying about what you're doing and making sure you're on track <coughs> if you let yourself get off track you're done I've been there a hundred times so anyway we're running up here on a 20 minute video and I apologize for that and I can make it go an hour easy but uh, for right now uh, I'm taking off today and tomorrow from working out I thought about doing a walk but I don't even want to do that I haven't done all I've only done I think three walks since I've moved here so I think I'm gonna try and rig me up some sort of chicken noodle soup even though I think I'm gonna end up having to have ramen and put some chicken in it and kind of doctor it up I haven't had ramen in probably three years or so I used to eat it quite a bit. It's not good for you, but I don't have anything really to make chicken noodle soup, so I'm going to have to try and rig it up a little bit. So I'm going to take a shower, a nice cool shower, make me some of that chicken noodle soup, maybe a grilled cheese sandwich or something, and just kind of take it easy and try to get my bearings and get some rest and even though rest sometimes sounds like being lazy and it kind of is sometimes but I feel like I need it right now to just kind of pull back maybe two days and chill so anyway guys uh, a lot going on in this video with those topics please uh, in the comments discuss anything you want to discuss about these topics <coughs> I take them very serious uh, because uh, these things destroy people's lives so if you want to discuss something in the comments please discuss things that might can help me it might can help other people if you have something that you want to keep personal you can email me and just we'll chit chat through email or something uh, you can email me at mikeyson71 m-i-k-i-e-s-o-n-7-1 at gmail.com and, uh, I don't talk to nobody I don't have nobody to talk to and even if I did I wouldn't talk to them because I'm not that kind of person so anyway guys uh, hope you have a good night and take care of yourselves inside and out mentally and physically and uh, keep fighting don't let anything uh, don't let anything interfere and keep fighting the good fight and uh, let's make it to another day and uh, we'll fight again okay so like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down me Michael your tired host get up get out get rad do it to it we'll see you next time on the body beat down Monday
Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!